All right, guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. We are so close to the end. This is actually the first time I'm recording since I uh, had to take my little mini break there. But um, Bahamut, it's a pleasure to see you here. Or Dion, sorry. We should call you Prince Dion. Tell me, how has things been? How's your recovery going, friend? There is still much I would learn of your tale once this day is done. Until then... All who might come between me and such knowledge shall answer to my spear. Awesome. I do not envy them. So he has unanswered questions. He wants to know my story. Gav, Gav, you've been an absolutely loyal, loyal companion. Except I've never really seen you fight. What is going on with you, my friend? If Sid were here today, I reckon he'd be proud of you, Clive. He'd be proud of us all. He'd be proud of us all. Clive, one day, is going to be able to speak without a frog in his throat. Anyway, Jill, 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 my, my new girlfriend, how are you? Each parting brings the hope of reunion. I missed you, Clive. I missed you too. Beautiful Torgal. Torgal, what have you got to say about this? How are you feeling? A little rough. I couldn't have made it this far without you, Torgal. This feels... Oh, God, this feels like we're about to say goodbye to somebody. I've already had a chat with our friend here, Goats, Goots, Gooch, whatever. Uh, got a load of stuff. I think I've got enough equipment to get going. So, Joshua, lead on. You see, Clive, we're not alone. If we are to win the day, we must all play our part. And ours. Ours lies beyond those doors. We have four dominants, a Gav and a dog. What are the chances we can do this? Well, I haven't done loads of side quests to kind of level up my character. So it's slim. But we're going to give it a go. Proceed to the Inner Sanctum right now. We fought long and hard for this moment. Sid's dream, our dream, is within our grasp. We need only endure this final trial, and we shall, together. Oh, I'm going to miss this game when it's gone. You all know what it is that awaits us beyond this gate. And we shall face it together. I... I... Oh, what? Have you come to watch? Or have you come to... Oh my god, it's another behemoth. It's several behemoths. Okay. Yeah, Gooch. It I mean, Gooch. Would rather we remain. Are we gonna do this? I will stay them. We will stay them. Go! Just don't keep us waiting. Oh, so these... <laughs> these guys are gonna stay behind and fight that lot. Oh, come on, if we need to take Ultima down, we need to do it together. <gasps> oh my god, there he is. Welcome, sons of fire. Oh, he's so camp. No, no! Right. What have you done with my dog? Um, this is a John Wick moment here. <laughs> you are going to be in so much trouble. I can't believe it. Toggle. Not Toggle. Why? Why take Toggle? He did nothing to you. All right. He killed several of your Akashic followers. Granted. But at least we're together still. Just got reunited with our friends and they're <laughs> we're split up again. Joshua! Joshua! Wake up! Clive, 
looks like you. This, this isn't stone here. Welcome to our darkness. A rift between worlds wherein your kind might reflect. Show yourself! Grave and many are the sins of man. And we would have you know them. All of them. As fate has seen fit to deliver you home, consider this our welcoming gift. Hmm. It would seem we are trapped. And the only way out is through Ultima. We find him and we leave. The interdimensional rift. Well, he said that it's delivered us home. So he expects this interdimensional rift for us to sort of settle down, start a family. Apparently it's home. I'm not hanging my hat here. We are getting out of this place. So hard to see. This whole sort of second half of the game, or second third, last third of the game, it's, it's all been in such dingy darkness. I think that's one thing. The one criticism I have of of the the, the the sort of the gameplay is that part, especially in this section. If you are to comprehend the full extent of your transgressions, we must go back to the beginning. When the world was still young, oh god, this we visited upon it a miracle, magic, and in its light did all life flourish? History lesson. Yet the price for this boon would prove heavy. A pall descended upon the land, painting the horizon black as night. Though we labored to forestall its spread, in this one endeavor, we stood powerless. And so we fled, that we might endure, endure, that we might discover a means of salvation. But if it was magic that caused the blight, what of the Mother Crystals? Expect he'll tell us soon enough. <laughs> yeah, he likes the sound of his own voice, this guy. Much like Barnabas did. So, magic caused the blight. And he said, so what do the Mother Crystals do? Do they concentrate it? Or whether, are they, is it searching for something? Oh, who knows? We've got to keep going anyway. Gorgeous. Gorgeous music. Again, the score of this game has been absolutely first class. I can't jump. I don't suppose I want to jump up there. Do I? Do I want to jump up there? There's nothing up there to jump to. I'm not going to risk it. Salvation, alas, was not readily to be had. First, we would require a land unvisited by the stain of corruption. An unprecedented journey lay before us, one beyond the limits of our fleshy bodies. And so we cast them off. Fleshy bodies. Thus stripped to our very spirit did we find our new paradise. A land as pure as driven snow, 
Valisthea. There would the true work begin, for the black crept yet behind us. And soon did we arrive at a solution, the illness having spread to every organ. There was but one escape from this fate, to start afresh. With a new world, the one for which Barnabas labored, a paradise free from the blight where his god awaits, and where, if we only forfeit our wills and abandon everything we hold dear, humanity can join him. So, Ultima would have us follow in the footsteps of the king. And follow we shall. For now. I like what he's suggesting there. Play along, basically. Let's play along. See what Ultima has. I mean, he's going to give us a choice, isn't he? Well, hmm. Maybe you won't give us one, but we're gonna we're gonna have a choice. Going along with his strangely mystical plan at this point. So it, did he create the blight to wipe out this world? Because he said something about the darkness was always creeping behind us. Would require not only power, but a constitution strong enough to wield it. Acquiring the first would be simple. Untouched by the blight, Valisthea was replete with ether, and we had only to place jewels in her crown to claim it. Acquiring the second, however, demanded creativity. And so I cast forth the seeds of humanity. You what? created us. What? Is that not what gods do? Oh, get over yourself. We sowed the seeds for you, Muthos. All that you might one day blossom. And our future thus secured, we thought to slumber. Though that would prove a grave mistake, for it was as we slept that man committed his greatest sin. He awoke. Alone in a world bereft of his god's radiance, he stumbled blindly, desperate for guidance. Finding no light, he sought to kindle his own, and from that single errant impulse, was his will born. Having discovered himself at last, man turned his eyes inward and found he desired evermore that which only magic might afford. Hmm. So wars were waged and brothers slain for custody over that dwindling resource, and the land, she wept tears of black. He would condemn us for this. Surely he cannot be so blind to his own hypocrisy. Not blind, just unwilling to admit the truth. Though we're one and the same. Right. So he created humanity and thought, okay, I'm done. I've done my job. I'll step back. But then is he saying that man then desired the use of magic? So it's a bit like Zeus banning, uh, what was it? He, he, oh, and Prometheus took it and gave it to us. Was it like free will? The fire. 
He banned man from being able to have fire, so it would it would elevate him apparently in not needing the gods or something like that. It was something about give give man too much technology or ability, and they and they would and somebody somebody nef will use it for, for nefarious purposes. And, oh, oh, I can't remember Afraid. the Greek legend. Well, what's left of him? And it was Prometheus who stole the fire and gave it to man. Long have our ashes lain cold for want of a spark. Cast your eyes upon them and see what you must become. <sighs> Valisthea cannot endure a second claim upon her being. The avarice of man drives her ever closer to destruction. But she may yet be saved by you. It is what you were born to do. Why we nursed you and fed you as your own mother should have. Ooh. That's going to cut and deep. And now that you are fully grown, our Muthos, it is time at last for you to serve your purpose. To right your wrongs. If our sin is wanting to survive, then you are as marked by it as we are. The fault is yours. Our wills were born because you abandoned us. And now, you would have us forfeit them. All for a place in your new paradise. Do you imagine yourselves worthy of one? Mankind has no place in our world. Is this truly so difficult to comprehend? Well, I, I, I we count as one, yes. We require you, Muthos, when the time comes to bid this Wretched realm, farewell. None shall follow, none shall remain. What do you mean, none? This is our world. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. Why would we continue to suffer that which has caused us so much vexation? Because the land doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us all! What? That is where you are mistaken. Uh-oh. You own nothing but your precious will. Brother. Precious will. I mean, what the the right to be ourselves I and make our own destinies. And you don't have to. I grow weary of your descent. Why did now you must learn that this master will not tolerate disobedience? Why did he bring talk? I can see why he brought us to. Oh, look at you! In your fancy outfit. My friends. My family. We have all suffered. All fought to survive. This world may be flawed. It may be broken. But it's all we have. And if we can't share it, I see only one other choice. You have to go. You may have created us, Ultima. But it's time we lived on our own terms. This isn't your world anymore. It's us. 
I think Torgal Bow said that in time. Okay, okay, what have we got here? Sustained. Uh, death. Okay, we are gonna have to heal up quickly. Oh my god. This is a brand new boss fight in the game. Nice dodge there, my friend. Get out of the way. Got a parry in. Oh, you little beauty. Okay, he can hold his own. Much as we expected. Oh, good lord. Not good. Not good at all. Uh, I'm not sure we're gonna. I'm gonna have to stone skin tonic myself up. Let's get the. Let's get the heat wave going. Making things a little harder in here. Now, how much of this is going to end up being a cinematic fight? Okay, okay. Damn it. Repent. Okay, a, okay, a jump on that one isn't too bad if you can head towards him in time. Okay, we're good, we're good. Nice try. Yeah, nice try, brother. Let's use a little bit of Jill against him. He's frozen in time. I do love that. You can have one of these as well. Sunny Jim. Oh, it didn't work. Uh, did he cancel that? Oh, I was just spamming the dodge button, hoping I could get one in. It's a bit understated so far. Like, musically. Come on. Okay, we're going to have to go raging because I need to get some health back up. Keeping an eye on what he's doing, though. No? Oh, God, here we go. Okay, something happened there. Not sure it's what we want to do. He's down on the ground, though. Oh, yeah, incoming. So we have to just spam it all. Yeah. Nice try. Yeah, another dodge. We're going all right here. I mean, it's not perfect by any means. And what, what the hell is that purple ball? Whoa! It's okay. It's a uh, such foul intent. Gravity may well. Not be sublimed through game standing. Got the pumping, thumping music. Only We've had another boss fight. Low is penance paid. All right. Oh, wretched mortals, incapable even of contrition. Something's changing here. Okay, In what are we doing? No, no, no. Get out of it. No, no. Our uh, okay, this is hard. Oh man, totally battered us in that. Oh, okay, this is this is going to be a tough fight. We will prevail. No, you're okay, that's good. We're in the second phase. This is this is alright. I'm happy with that. Although there's going to be a bit of learning going on here. Ah, I can't go on. Okay, how do we get out of that? Perhaps. No, you're insignificant. Phoenix shifting. No. Get out of it. God, I just can't move. All right, sunshine. I've had enough. Oh, yes. There we go. All right, we're getting his stamina down. A bit more of the ice magic. Let's just pile it on. Deal what damage we can while we're up close. Oh yes, didn't expect that little dodge, did you, my friend? Now, I don't like that gravity well crap. That's going to be pretty damn difficult to deal with. Oh, ho, 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 ho. All right, we've got a rage. I need the health back. Come on. Oh, get out of there, man. 
There we go. Good and time. again. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. It's just not working. Having to use the potion again. I thought I dodged that. I just maybe didn't get hit by it. Yeah, we are getting hit by it. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is that bloody gravity well thing. All I can do is run away from it. Stick outside the lines. No, don't walk straight into it, you idiot. Alright, that's about all I could do there, is just try and fight the power. And at least he's down again. Okay, he's pretty... It takes about two waves of all of my abilities in one go to get him knocked onto his feet. But there's going to be multiple phases of this fight, I know, I know, it will happen. Move, move, move. Just... Damn. Damn you. Oh, God. Got to be close to him on that second one. Yeah. <laughs> nice try. Yeah, baby. Parried on that last one, you little beauty. I think... I think... Joshua is, is definitely helping with this fight. We've got him down now, way beyond his halfway point. But as I said, this is definitely going to be a multi-level fight. I cannot see this. Oh, God, here we go. Uh, just Ah, uh, dodge it, man. This is designed to hurt you. You have to die. You have to sort of take some punishment in this fight, no doubt. Oh, here we go. What's going Gifted on there? Gifted this chance. And still you would raise your hand against the Lord. Hey man, I've just come back from Rome. I know where the real Lord the is. Bends. Oh, he's not dead. He means to end us. It wouldn't be the first time. But let's make it his last. Alright, my friend. You gonna, oh, you're playing up there now. Surrender the vessel unto the darkness. Okay, Surrender what the hell? Kneel before us. Kneel before us. Twat. Right, let's do this. <laughs> I'll get my potions back. This is this is good. We can we can do this. Your right, get in there. Get in there. He's on the ground. At least I got that Surrender in. Surrender the vessel unto the darkness. Surrender How do you dodge? How do you defend against this? Just keep spamming the dodge button, I think. That's about all I can do. Oh my lord. I shouldn't have called him that, should I? I didn't mean you. It's an absolute first class Burke. There we go. That's a way to get all your health back. That move really does do the business. Freeze and die. Okay, okay, okay. Things are happening. Okay, what's happening? Okay. Holy crap. Move. Nice try. Nice dodge. This is insane. Beautifully insane. Okay, come on, get in there. Get in there with a little bit of a. I was gonna call it point break. I know it's limit break. We got a parry. Come on, make use of it. Yes, baby. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh, oh, damn it. Set on fire? So unlike me. That's a little more like me. Getting caught by an obvious tell. Nice try. No, you're insignificant. God, that was terrible trash talk. That's all I had. Oh, now he's pulling out these stops again. Ah. No, I can't. I will not. 
freezing. At least this gives me a moment to, to think, because it always freezes him in time. What else have we got? Can we throw at you? A bit of the Ice Age, just knock him back into it. That would be good. Careful, brother. Yeah, good advice. Be careful against the god. Thanks, Joshua. Ever wise. Gotta dodge. Keep watching. Damn. All right, that one hurt. That one hurts a lot. Not good. No, not good at all. But that's okay. We bought some time. Our things are recharged. Ah, uh, nowhere near him. Okay, I remember this one. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Yeah, that didn't work for you, did it, buddy? Yeah, we're getting these dodges in. It's working well. Here we go. Come on, Ultima. I'll get my health back for this as well. Okay, this is the... Uh, okay, this is the gravity well thing. No, stand still. Stand still. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, all right. That's just... Bloody laser copier. What, what? Copier? I know what I meant. Okay, keep moving, keep moving. We'll just keep firing at him while this is happening. Ice balls from the sky. Now, you, you just hold there for a second. It's a really powerful skill, though. Yeah, that's better. Now, come on, right, that's it. We're down to... A little bit of his health, and a few potions left for me. Ah! Don't blow it now, we got this far, it will work. Torgal, come on man, we got this. Okay, somehow got a dodge in there, and another one. Ah, uh, come on, potions. Potions. Let's try. How did that work? He's down to his last. Come on. It's got to be done. He's, he's nearly over. I'm going to... Yes. Got him with a range shot. Staggered. At last. At last. What? Was this what he wanted? wanted. He wanted me to get enough experience against him to be able to level up all my skills. That's probably it, you know. He's a sick man. He's a sick, sick man. Alright, so we've got um, another medallion. We can wear uh, some other stuff. Thanks. Yeah, this is, this. is even this fight, even beating him is part of his plan, isn't it? At last. For countless generations. Have we awaited this moment? Your struggles have made you strong, yet your soul remains heavy with sin. Absolution is nigh. Repent, and all shall be forgiven. Oh, you just blow it up, you're up. Repent, and all will be forgiven. My sins. What is my sins? Just for being alive. Oh. Oh. That was father and young Joshua. Yes, that's my daddy. 
There's Jill and little Jill. And, ah, oh, Sid and Mid. What is this vision about? Why is, why am I sitting on the throne? Why is Clive sitting on the throne? Tell me, Clive, how many lives have you saved since taking my name? Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. These... these are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring all they will ever bring is death. There's no atoning, Clive. No, no matter how hard you try. So why not leave it all behind? Leave it all behind. Wait. With that moment there where the spirit of Joshua as the boy was that was that actually really Joshua, do you think? Because remember when somebody saved me. Won't anybody oh, Bened love me? Benedicta, yes. I yearn, yet still she is not mine. Oh there he is. Have I not given enough? The time will himself. is born desire, and it is this which consumes you, rendering you incomplete. Oh, I miss him. Do you not see how the world bends and warps under the weight of your hungering hearts? What if it could all just go away? Just... Yeah, that moment when Clive, uh, sorry, when Joshua shouted out Clive. Do you remember when Ultima was absorbed by Joshua? There's got to be something related to that moment in the game, how this ends. It must be. Perhaps that was Joshua just saying, no, look, here you go again. He's, he's in there somewhere. He's in Ultima's mind. This is real. Wake up. Uh, that's, that's... It's time to go home, Clive. <sighs> that's old, older brother Joshua. Clive. That's right. You're my brother. Brother. Remember who you are. Clive. Once more, lest you forget. <laughs> My name is Clive. Clive Rossfield. Look, Ultima. Even here, the light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched, and the phoenix 
His trespass should not have been possible. Not possible unless... Unless... He has been with Muthos all along. What? The mark of the phoenix emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest by the power of will alone. The power of creation. Can it be? Are their wills truly so potent? Are you still talking? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I thought that in a, a, a few of these enemies in this game, they just will not shut up. <sighs> oh, we're going to combine. Mighty Mega Morphin Power Rangers. Let's go. Our flames burn as well. Oh, for the first time he looks a little concerned. This is no mere evolution, it is deviation. It's will. And here from does Logos rise. Logos? Who the hell is Logos? Deviation, deviation, a plan he didn't foresee, things he didn't intend to happen. Well, guess what? That's what humanity's will really is. The freedom to innovate. Oh, I'm so proud of our species sometimes. Even though this is a science fantasy. <laughs> I love it. It's great. There we go. Ashes to ashes. Trophy is earned. I mean, surely he's not dead, right? There's no way. There's no way we could have beat him with a giant ball of fire. Unless... Damn it, Clive. That is it. Wake up. That. That. Sorry to wake you, but I think it may be time to leave. This place. Eh? Once again, does my creation stray from the path laid before it? There you go, of course. He's not dead. Steeped in conceit, you fancy yourself a god. You embrace Logos. But we will put an end to this hubris. What are you talking about? In the halls of origin, does our true power quicken? And there shall you be made complete. Soon, Muthos, soon you will discover how little you know of suffering. Are we, are we back in the real world now? Twinside, the holy empire of Sandbrek. Okay. This, this is progress. Oh, for God's sake. And so the crystals are no more. Yet in their silence, a new song rings. Its chorus building. A crescendo as it enters its final movement. Stirring those long a slumber to waking. What? And back to their origin. What souls? So the crystals were suppressing something? Suppressing these souls? What are they? And where are they going back to? Their origin, he says. Mm. 
What? What am I even looking at? A chunk of the earth has just risen. I am so confused. What even is it? The bloody crystal's cracked. So where the hell are they? Oh, fuck me. Maybe later, Gav. Is that... ether? What in good Grieger's name is going on? This is wrong. Are we back? Clive! Joshua! Jill! <laughs> Is everyone all right? We're fine. What happened? Too much to explain here. Mid! We're leaving. Now! Everyone, fall back to the ship. I will be with you and none. Thank you. Okay, so he's still got some of his skills. I'm waiting to see him sort of transform to beat this lot. It's very strange. Sort of difference in the in the background music and the the sound. It's it's almost subdued, you know. This feels more. I don't know, like. Oh, I don't know what the word is I'm trying to come up with. It's, it just feels really like it's hollow. Maybe that's how the game is meant to trying to make you feel here. It's like there's just no hope. Anyway, Streets of Madness. We have to return back to the hideaway, which I shall be doing post haste. So this thing that's just bloody appeared, what even is it? Is it all the mother crystals suddenly combined and warped into some kind of blue ice cream cone? <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. But we have nothing other than to travel back to the hideaway. Straight away. Guys, this is where this episode ends. But it is not where the story does. I have absolutely loved it. So we got back to their origin. Is this the end of I that I need group? to tell everyone what happened to Drake's spine. And I'm going to need Otto's help. Otto, Otto. He's the it's walking the is library. He just knows everything. So we're going to go over and speak to him. For him only to tell us to go and speak to someone else. Thanks for watching this episode, guys. Uh, it's getting close. So I hope you're sticking with it. All the very best. Take care, and I'll see you in the next part. Good night.